Yes. Having recently, in fact, swapped characters from her Robin to Marth, has done pretty well for her. She beat Momo Ari in pools to get here. After Momo beat um, SCR, I believe. Oh. Okay, so I thought uh, there was going to be a, a quick gimp opportunity for Matsu there. Obviously, something that is really prevalent in this matchup is how good uh, Marth's edge guarding ability is versus Falco. He, Falco has a very hard time getting back to the stage. And also he's having a Brad's having a hard time getting onto the onto the stage once being back. Like you saw Matsu ledge trapping him really well here. And he's been trying to mix it up, been throwing in Oh Oh okay that was a really nice upbeat mix up from from Brad there. Actually not rolling not going straight to the ledge. Um just holding down, just hold, coming up. Yeah. yeah. But again, he's having a hard time staying here. Lucky not to get caught by that up there. I think he was ready to take it anyway. Yeah. Um, but abs absolutely, if he got caught by that, it was it was a very strong hit. So very dangerous stuff right now. Wow, gets caught by a landing up here. And that was really good play from Matsu because what she did, she air dodged first to cat to bait out the option from Brad and then followed it up with the up there. And uh, I think the initial part of Marth's up air actually is a is a hurt box shift, so it meant that the option from Brad wasn't what was less likely to hit also because of because of her throwing out that button. Good use of dancing, but it doesn't go for the full combo. Though. I think uh, the one thing that the one way that oh okay nice head or treat from Brad. Uh, the the one thing that I would I would like to see from Brad. Uh, Sorry, from Matsu is actually pushing that dancing blade pressure more because right now it, it I don't see a way that Falco gets around dancing blades. Yeah, and the ones she's connected fully have got him off stage. We'll see it again here. He's now off stage. He's having to make it back, but he does that up B hold down again. And it's getting good value. I don't think he's getting really good value out of it. Absolutely, it's. Uh, but again, just stuck off that side, off the stage. Okay, I really like the, the Nair and, and fading back into the, the side B. Oh, okay. Good choice the aggressive Pushes a front and there. Gets, uh, gets very aggressive. We'll just see how he gets back. Oh, it doesn't quite hit the ledge job. I feel like Matsu could have done more there to push her advantage. Obviously, like I said, the, the thing about this matchup for for Marth is how good he is off stage versus Falco. So I, I would like to see him continue um, that pressure. But oh, oh. Uh, I don't know what that DI was. Um, I think maybe he thought he teched it. Yeah. So he was DIing the correct way so that he could side beat back to the stage. Well, I think he was DIing away, yeah, to fade back from Matsu's options, but just got that wall bounce. Um, but I think while well, Matsu's, yeah, not as you said, not going off uh, off stage to get it, she's ledge trapping really well. Like Brad spent, I'd say, most of that game off stage. Yeah. I didn't get that sense of the stage, and Matsu's been holding it really well. I'm we'll just seeing Matsu can do that again. Oh, Whoa. okay. So you got the frame cancel Nair into the jabs there. Really nice bit of tech there from, from LT Brad. And what LT Brad did do in game one is his advantage save. When he gets that hit, he is taking it far. So while he's not having stage control, he's trying to push the advantage he has quite a distance. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, again, Brad. Crispy was saying to me earlier. Obviously, Brad is a uh, is a character specialist, and that's why he, his advantage state is so good. Is that going to kill? Yeah. yeah, the Leo blade is going to kill. Up throw back air, very good, good confirm for Falco. One of the few things that makes him a competitively viable character. Good try on the up smash there. Just trying to bait a choice, an option from Matsu. But... Watching Matsu holding a cool, not dropping that shield. Oh, that dare was very unsafe there. Obviously, it did work out for him previously in the last game, but I don't think it was worth it. In the... oh. oh, that is I'm, unfortunate. I'm not entirely sure what that was supposed to be. 
That is very unfortunate okay. that that happens. I'm not sure what he would be looking for in that situation because Matsu was some distance away from him. Yeah, absolutely. Could have been just lasers. Or Yeah, or j just a misinput, something like that. Yeah. It, it, these things happen. All three games, we're going to Smashville if, uh, if the set ends here. But, you know, Brad hasn't been playing bad. He's been doing well. He's just got, unfortunately, another nice frame cancel now. Though. Okay, so that's another thing about uh, Marth versus Falco is they have a... Marth has a very good way to get out of all of all of Falco's combos. Uh, the, the Nair is very strong pressure for Marth. And it, uh, it's, it's really great to, to sort of get him out of disadvantage. And so is the fair as well. Using the fair is keeping Brad off and also interrupting. Interrupting his efforts to go for a dare like we saw just then. But doesn't okay. fall for the dare up slash there. Manages to jump away. Doesn't put herself in that bad situation. I think um, it might be better rather than just immediately charging the up smash it might be better to stop and wait for a second see what your opponent's going to do nice air dodge read there from brad let's see if he can push this advantage that he has right now and take the whole game that's doing well now game off that stage leo that... blade nope. not going to kill well just yet he saved his jump oh she was misplaced for the for the f smash Nice run round there. Try, baited his option when she came at him and then came around with the side B. Oh wow, that down tilt was so well spaced. Looking for that up throw back air again. Oh, uh, okay, that's, I mean, that's Marth's up B. But what Brad did do, he got that dare off that he's been trying to land with quite a bit and that wasn't caught out by Matsu this time, but then died in the, the ag of it. He went for that dare again, but uh, Matsu dr drifted the other way. Right, just try and wait for Matsu to come in. He has the percent lead. He has the ability to do that. Nice air right, dodge back air there. Yeah, Brad's been holding stage control much better this game. And it's really working out for him. Oh, gets the second hit of the up smash, but doesn't kill just yet. That but the fair is going to yeah. take it. And it's gonna go to a game four. That was good of him. He recovered from that unfortunate situation in game game two. Came back in, came very strong. Actually had stage control and held it this time, which is something that he had trouble doing. We saw. We'll see if it's another smash or pit. Oh, it's FD this time. Okay. Um. I can understand this because obviously Falco will do relatively well with the platforms in opposition to Marth. However, uh, I, th I think Battlefield, for how much space it gives you um, off of the um, off of the stage, I, I think that was more worth it over over FD. But we'll see what happens in this yeah. game. Well, already it's going well for that too. Which is Kept Brad in the edge, so we saw a quick juggle with some affairs. And a good side B here. But yeah, doing well so far. Brad hasn't had quite. Wow, okay. Oh, he almost gets the there, but luckily Matsu had just faded away. His advantage is really strong, he's really taking that well. Nice to do a jab there to cover his fair. trouble here. Please be careful. Oh, I didn't like that side B back to stage. I, it was very unsafe. Nice jump fair back on just to uh, make sure that Matsu can't push her advantage off stage. Oh, and he jumped. He jumped in to the strong hit of the F tilt. So uh, he did unfortunately die there. I think something that's worth mentioning from Brad. Oh, great up smash there. But, and nice another great back air. Okay, so we're going to the, to the last stock of this game four here. But as I was saying, Brad's been using the wall of FD to come up with some wall jump back airs to cover his way back on stage. He's been quite good. But now he's off stage again. Oh, the second hit of uh, Nair is just so strong. Gets you off stage so far and 
for Falco, obviously, that means he has a really hard time coming back. Again, Matsu's not going off stage though to go for the edge guard on Falco, but it hasn't mattered too much because she's just controlling Sage so well. And again. Forward throw, pushing him off stage. Oh, okay. No. He does well to maneuver around his pressure there. He was waiting for her to pick an option. Oh, good shield on the up tilt, but unfortunately, Brad trying to go on the aggression again before uh, before Matsu is able to punish. Unfortunately, Brad hasn't had a nice, a uh, nice shine there, but he hasn't had too much luck with the side beast he's approaching. Oh, okay, very that. good at SDI there from LT Brad. You can actually get out of it uh, if you if you SDI correctly. Just maneuvering around each other, but lucky not to get caught by that tip there. Good play, maneuvering round onto stage on Matsu. Matsu's Can we see round Brad again. take it to a game five here? Very good VI on the up throw. Ah, oh, but the second hit of Nair is going to take it. Set that Matsu played really well that set. She didn't. We mentioned how while Marf has a lot to edge guard Falco and she wasn't going through all the time but what she ended up doing was just holding that stage, holding that stage control for the whole set basically. Yeah. And yeah. make it so hard for Brad to get on, get start getting his advantage going. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, absolutely. And, and as I was talking about before the set about how great uh, of footsies Brad actually has. Unfortunately, if you don't have that much stage to work,